I have feeding tube supplies. I have a medication. I have a refrigerator box with medication. I need to unbox all that. You wanna come on my exciting medical unboxing? So these are interesting. These are the supplies. What is it? What is that? Oh yeah, what's that thing? The vlog? Oh yeah, good morning. Good morning. I've just been working in the kitchen and cleaning up and enjoying myself. And Peter. I haven't been doing too much besides I did the vlog and then I was testing out our sprinklers. We're gonna get rain, I think tonight. Uh, it, it keeps changing when it's gonna rain, but it's gonna rain sometime. So I was getting our sprinkler set up for once we do plant grass tomorrow. And I did do a test run of planting grass in our front yard in the spot where we've had the dirt pile. And so I planted that and... That's really exciting. Good to watch it grow. This is the sort of project that there's a lot of back uh, prep work. So you've been doing prep work for weeks now and now hopefully... Oh, the tufted titmouse. Oh, I don't see him very often. That is awesome. Oh man, oh man. Okay, well anyway, hopefully in a matter of days and weeks, we will see. see what is that problems. bird? That's the, is that the tufted? No, what is that? What is that? What is that? <gasps> Maybe that is the mockingbird. The ever elusive mockingbird. Okay, you guys, sorry. Oh man, are you guys having a good day? I think it's kind of funny when the camera is super zoomed in and it's like slowly zooming out and you're like, go faster. But it's kind of awkward in the meantime because it's like awkwardly close, okay. So I am gonna finish cleaning and just see what happens. I'm just putting these spices away. We are gonna have some shrimp. So I used this little brush and basted on some melted butter, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. And Peter is putting those on the grill right now. So that is what we're gonna have. And then I cut up some veggies and we will also have, we will have some raw veggies and watermelon for dessert. Is over dinner was amazing it's so good peter and ollie just got back from a walk guys it's one of those days i think it's been overcast most of the day and i'm just kind of dragging he's dragging his wagon we're gonna have a cup of happy cup of coffee and i actually need to unbox a few shipments that i got today um, I have feeding tube supplies, I have a medication, I have a refrigerator box with medication, I need to unbox all that. You want to come on my exciting medical unboxing? Oh, okay, sure, no problem. <laughs> oh man, well this one actually will be kind of exciting if you're a medical nerd. I, I don't think I was going for the word exciting. I was looking for the word interesting, 
because I've never had a shipment for subcutaneous immunoglobulin infusion. And that's what one of those boxes contains. So I'm gonna take a few sips of coffee, rest for just a couple minutes, and then I will go grab a couple of those boxes and we'll see what we got. All right. I think the way I'm gonna do this is because I will need to take everything upstairs and put it in my medical closet. But basically, I just got set up with the feeding tube company like locally. Because when I moved, it had to transfer. Anyway, so I got a, another replacement feeding tube. And I just realized, good thing I just checked. Because one time, the home care company sent me the box. And there was no feeding tube inside. Anyway, it's in there. Awesome. Feeding tube, and then a few other feeding tube supplies, like a syringe that I use every night. Um, feeding tube bags for when I need to use it for formula or like I did the Gatorade or whatever. Gauze, tape, and I'm guessing it usually doesn't come like this where they're all just kind of in there like this, but there were supposed to be a couple of extensions as well. So I'll see if that's in there once we get upstairs. But basically, um, I'm gonna look through this, and then I'm gonna wash my hands, and then I'm gonna take it upstairs, sort it out, wash my hands again, and that'll be that. Um, this is from the subcutaneous immunoglobulin situation, which I'm supposed to have a nurse come tomorrow to teach me how to do it all. Oh my gosh. They sent Benadryl. Oh, funny. That's hilarious. Um, they've sent the medication. They've sent Tylenol. They sent, so there's the medication. I guess in pandemic times, that's helpful, like if we didn't have those on hand. Yes, yeah, seriously. We did have, uh, I ran out, and then my friend got some for me, and then I was able to order more as well. So there so, is the medication that goes in the fridge. So do those look much different than your IVIG? Um, I'm guessing it's just a vial inside. Yeah. The one that I'm on is called Cubitru, and it's by the same maker as Gamagard. Which is the IV form that she used to take. EpiPen. Oh, the, um... We didn't talk about this, but the doctor, like the doctor and I didn't talk about this, but she called in a prescription for lidocaine. So okay. that indicates to me that maybe this might be painful or maybe she just wanted me to have it in case I wanted it. I'm not sure. So we'll find out. Um, I guess I'll just combine everything that needs to go upstairs. I'll just put it in the big box. Okay. This box is, what is this one? So it looks like a present. So in the, that was all that was in the IVIG was just the medication. Was there anything else? I'm thinking that's what this is. Okay. Oh, no, this is ports, which I need to flush my ports. So like, did it have the needles and stuff? I think that's in the last box. Oh, okay. So gloves. This is port care stuff that I I knew I needed um, dressing change kits. So I got a few dressing change kits. We have those so that we can flush her port and yes. keep the line clear. We do it once a month. I know there's different protocols, different centers, but that's yeah. what we've always done. Yep, and then a yellow heparin to keep a line open. Did you know, I'm talking to Peter, hmm. one of you guys told me, hey, did you hear there's a recall on the sterile saline? Oh, wow. I only had one left, and I didn't look up the lot numbers. We'll just not use it. Hmm. Home care said, Hey, we can't send a sterile saline because of the recall. So interesting. That's that. And then this box is <gasps> what? Another sharks container. Oh. I'm very thankful that we have it, but we have plenty of sharks containers. So these are interesting. These are the supplies. What is it? What is that? This is really interesting, you guys. All right. Because let's, we've never. Let's, let's I mean, see this. I saw my sisters really quickly yeah. i didn't like examine everything okay so, so show us what these are the supplies for her sub q ig which a nurse is going to train us for but we're just unpacking this looks it. like it's the infusion system 
Wow. Do you remember what hers looked like? It had that crank thing and you click the big syringe in. I don't remember, but I'll put a clip right here. So now we just turn it on. Whoa! And so these are the needles. It's like two needles on cording. This makes me a little bit nervous. <laughs> I didn't realize that there was like a mechanism for infusing it. Yeah. I thought it was just like a shot. I talked with the pharmacist yesterday and he was talking about the different sizes of needles nine millimeter nine millimeter like the different lengths yeah not so like 24 size gauge. yeah but they were supposed to send a six millimeter and they didn't do that oh interesting so it's so just I'll nine mean millimeters yeah is there any in that bag oh Ta -da. Yeah. is that Six millimeter? Okay, perfect. And then this is, it looks like the hooker upper between the needle and the syringe. Some transfer devices for the... Medication. Yeah, medication. Alcohol and syringes. So, so we'll learn it all tomorrow. The, set, the setup of it will probably be pretty similar to like IVIG, taking it out of the vial and... I think it's going to be a bit different though. Oh, is it? A little bit different because the way that I transferred, I transferred from the vial to the um, IV bag. bag. Yeah. And this you have to use the air valve because you're transferring it straight out of the vial. And okay. Got it. Up. Got it. So we'll learn all that tomorrow. Yeah. We'll show you guys this. So the she was talking about the six millimeter and the nine millimeter. Basically, I heard her talking to the pharmacist about this. It's the difference between like basically how much fat you have and to get to the subcutaneous layer um, you just have to it's basically trial and error to figure out what size needle works best for your body and so he said based on your weight I'm gonna send these two needles and the nurse will help you figure out what's best I'm gonna leave these down here okay I'm not great. gonna take those up yep but I'm gonna take this stuff up and these boxes can go to the garage then. Great. So. Awesome. So that's your little medical haul. Today was a big medical delivery day for us. Oh, and I had one other box with hypertonic saline that came. Wow. Anyway, there we go. That's Got that's the surprise. And? As always. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, man. I just realized something. What? Well, when I had... I'm extending the vlog here for a second. Just kind of this realization that it's not a given that we have all the supplies we need, especially at this time. Mm -hmm. And when I reached out to my immunologist to ask like, oh, wh where are we at with IVIG? I asked like, I don't know if there's a shortage because of the blood shortage. She never responded to that question, but I guess at least for now, it looks like it's in stock, but yeah. I guess it's just one of those things you do the best with what you got. So if it was out of stock, then it wouldn't be an option. And that would be that. And we just do the best with what we've got. Um, but we were able to get the supplies, not the sterile saline, but that's okay. That's no big deal. We'll, I'll hold it and he'll be sterile and that'll be that. So anyway, as yeah. always. We'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good, good night. night. Yeah, good night, Sue.